Um, when we were growing up, going to Grandma's house seemed like a sacred event to me. And I was very blessed to have all four of Grandma's children living within seven miles of her home. And we would get together for every for all kinds of occasions. When she moved into town, we would go to her house after church for breakfast just about every Sunday. So as a result, we had you know I had some very close relationships with my cousins. And over the years, things changed dramatically. But what I would like to talk about a little bit were the two family trees that came together. First of all, for the Mormon family, there was um, the Schutz family and, and Adrian, which was a huge extended family. Because uh, Grandma came, well, first of all, um, her father came from a family, from a huge family, and I think probably Craig is going to go more into the family history, I don't know. But, um, and then, um, Grandma Mormon was the eldest of 14, but by the time she was 21, both of her parents had died, so she raised her brothers and sisters. And then, some, somewhere around the age of 40, she married Grandpa and had her own children, her four children. So um, she was kind of, her house was a, just a center of the community. She knew everybody, this huge extended family all in that area. And we 